Hey, Podcast 17 subscribers. Um, in a minute, you're going to see the first of hopefully many Arma 2 Let's Plays. I'm a huge Arma fan, like, like really big. Um, next to uh, the Half-Life series, Arma is probably one of my favorite video game series. So I've been really battling over the past couple of days whether or not to post these these Let's Plays of me playing Arma on the Podcast 17 YouTube channel. Because, you know, we're like, we're like Source and Half-Life and mods and stuff. I mean, we do reviews and stuff, but, but really. So hopefully the, uh, the really die-hard Half-Life fans, the people who have subscribed to us just because they want to see Half-Life and Source, uh, don't get too angry that I'm posting Arma 2 videos, but I promise that they'll be interesting and, uh, and entertaining. And, may hey, maybe, maybe you might actually be interested in Arma 2. And, or maybe you already own it, and you can come play with me. But, um, but yeah. If you have any comments or suggestions, or if you think this is a really bad idea for me to post these on the Podcast 17 YouTube channel, uh, I guess throw me, let me know in the comments section. Um, I was thinking about starting a new account, like a new YouTube account, but I don't have to juggle two YouTube accounts. I got this one, and then I'll have to do the other one for the armor stuff. It really make my life difficult. Plus, I got all these subscribers already, so um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me know if it's a good idea, if, if I should keep doing this. I really do like armor 2, though, so it's really part of my gaming life. Um, so if I could post these stuff, this stuff here, that'd be great. And uh, and hey, if you don't want to watch it, you can just not watch those videos. They'll be they'll have Arma 2 in it, and uh, and yeah, and they'll be in the playlist. I'm gonna make a playlist for all the Arma 2 Let's Plays. So enough talking. Let's let's play. Hey everyone, William here, also known as C Virtuoso, part of Reality Gaming, and I'm gonna do a Let's Play of Arma. And hopefully that this series takes off because I found that there's not a lot of Arma Let's Plays out there on YouTube anymore. Like the the latest one was like 10 months old. Um, so I'm gonna do some Let's Plays of Arma. But before we actually start doing some Let's Plays, I want to do an introductory one because a lot of people out there who don't play Arma or who have no idea what it is, like they think it's some sort of FPS Battlefield clone or or something along that lines. But really, it's not it's a simulator, and I'll explain what that means in a second. But first. I want to talk a little bit about the game itself. Um, Arma um, is developed by Bohemia Interactive, or Arma 2 is developed by Bohemia Interactive. Um, the same folks who actually did Operation Flashpoint. Um, so I've been playing Operation Flashpoint for quite a while, and I've been playing Arma 2 for quite a while. So Arma 2 uh, includes Operation Arrowhead, it includes uh, Private Military Corporation, or Private Military Company, um, the British Armed Forces, and of course, stock stock armor too. So all that together is called combined operations. So you got all four in one. You can see that down at the bottom. So I got uh, British Armed Forces, uh, PMC, Arrowhead, Arma Two, and I'll explain this in a second. Um, so yeah, so you launch that all in one big go. Um, so mods in Arma are sort of different than they are in other games. Like I come from the Half Life uh, and Source scene. So like in Half Life and Source, you load a mod and that's what you get. You get a mod, but in Arma, you, you sort of stack your mods, so you stack everything on top of each other and you sort of make your own custom experience. That's what the whole game's kind of about. It's not really known for its single player, it's known for its, its like really dynamic editor um, and really cool squads that you can join and get to know some people. And of course the mods that, uh, that make the game really unique. Um, if, you, if you've ever heard of Arma, you, you might have heard of Ace as well, Advanced Combat Environment. Um, that's a really, really popular mod for Arma. It makes the game ultra-realistic, if it wasn't realistic enough. I actually don't use Ace, because I find it... To, like, you can only make a game so realistic before it becomes annoying. And uh, most of the time with Arma, you're already battling enough bugs and and hilarity that, uh, that you don't need Ace on top of that. So anyway, the mods that I'm running are uh, JSRS, which is a sound mod. Um, everything sounds better with JSRS. You, I mean, I'm not even going to show you a comparison. You can check YouTube for that. But, um, yeah, so in probably all my Let's Plays, I'll be using JSRS unless for some reason it breaks. Um, I also use Blast Core, which is up here in the top right. Um, Blast Core is a visual effects mod and makes explosions look really, really pretty. But most people's computers can't handle it. But mine's awesome, so I can. Um, CBA is here as well, which is uh, just a community-based add-on. Uh, it allows you to run mods. And I'm running a custom pack called RG Pack. 
I'm part of Reality Gaming, and they have a pack in there that includes things like ST HUD, which allows you to have like a little radial. I'll show you in a second. Um, and then I have like my own third person thing pa packaged in there. Um, Zeus AI, all sorts of crazy mods. Uh, I'll explain them as we go. But uh, like I said, this is this is an introductory. Um, episode for anybody who doesn't know anything about Arma. Um, so in this introductory, oh, I guess I should explain the main menu here. You got single player, multiplayer, and options, of course. Um, single player, you got your campaign, your scenarios, your boot camp, which I suggest anybody to do if you're getting into this game for the first time. Play boot camp, armory, and editor. The uh, the campaign is known to be ultra buggy, but it's still kind of fun at times. It has like crazy amount of endings and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, scenarios, you got like your single player missions, they're just like standard scenarios um, that you can play, like one off. And uh, you got your boot camp, your armory, which you can try out different weapons and and uh, vehicles and actually different characters as well. You can even play as goat if you want. And you got your editor here, which allows you to make missions. And um, in multiplayer, um, I just got a filter on there right now, but it's just like any other multiplayer server you just find the server that you want to join in and um, away you go the only thing is like servers run mods as well right so if you're not running the mods um, that the server is running then you likely won't be able to play or you'll get kicked or you'll have some incompatibility issues so anyway in this um, I'm gonna play single player in scenarios and we're just gonna do a showcase actually it's this is one of the missions that I think this is packaged with Arma 2 or Operation Airhood anyway um, regardless, it's it's packaged with combined ops, and, um, and it's called Showcase U.S. Army. There's a couple showcase here. Um, U.S. Army, Takistan, they they call it Takistan. Um, <laughs> I, uh, in in Operation Arrowhead, it, it, I know it's it's funny. It's supposed to be like Afghanistan, but they can't can't call it Afghanistan, or they can't call it Afghani's, so they call them Takistanis. Same with Cherna Rush. You'll hear Cherna Rush a lot, a lot too. That's like the Russians. Um, so anyway, they call it Takistan. Um, Allied Forces, which is sort of like the UN on Cherno Russia. Um, the Civilian Life, which is the peaceful streets of Zargabad, where you can play as like Takistanis and stuff and check out some of the civilian stuff. And then, of course, Gorillas. So, Takistani Gorillas. Um, so, we're just going to do US Army. And, um, and I'll show you sort of the controls and, and some of the vehicles some cool things you can do in arma and uh and yeah we'll we'll have some fun so so like i said the 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 primary thing with arma if you're if you've never played it or have never heard of this game or, or don't know anything about it um is to not go into it thinking it's like a run and gun fps that's that's really not what it is because if you go into it thinking that you're gonna be disappointed 100 percent um, because it is a simulator. If you remember back in like the early 90s when there were flight sims where you had like your whole keyboard mapped um, to keys in the game, that's what this game is. It's a simulator, but, but like a simulator for war. Um, so here we are. We're in the showcase. Now, I haven't played this in a while, so um, bear with me for a little bit. So, so yeah, you can tell like there's not a lot of HUD elements right now. Um, I got a little crosshair, but but like you can even remove that crosshair if you uh, if you play on higher difficulties. So like not a lot of things sometimes. Um, I can go third person here, and one thing that you'll notice is if you've ever seen any other Arma Let's Plays or any other footage, my third person view is different. I'm using an over shoulder mod. I kind of like that better because I don't like my guy sort of like right in the way. Um, so like to give you an idea of um, how this is a simulator. I guess I don't even know where to start. Oh my god. Um, so I guess I'll go over the controls real quick. Just so you can sort of get an idea. For Arma fans, I mean, this this will mean nothing to you. Or for Arma players, this will mean nothing to you. But um, to people who, are, who aren't in the game, you know, this, this will serve. This will give you an idea of how much this is a simulator. So um, WSAD to move. Um, Q, and e to, Q and E to lean if I have my, other, if I have my weapon out. So double tap control to bring your weapon up and down. I'm using SMK animations, so I have actually two movement speeds. Um, there's the normal speed with your weapon ready and weapon down. Um, I know, it sounds confusing, and if you're a new player, it's already like way too much. And then there's another stand-up movement speed where like you're just peaceful. So there's peaceful, ready, um, I guess close ready. I, I don't know what the stances are called. Anyway, um, and then there's crouch stance. So there's crouch stance, like crawl, 
and then there's yeah sorry just crawl and then there's prone stance which is this and then you can do like prone loot rolls other rolls strafes um, and since I'm using SMK animations which I'm not quite used to yet um, I can hold like the turbo button and uh, yeah, do like cool rolls like that isn't that cool and then like if I'm down on the ground and I hold turbo this way I can do like a oh you can't really see it do it this way I can do like a I think they call it an urban urban cover I think that's what they call it um, and then I can like do all sorts of crazy stuff. So you can already see like there's there's crazy amounts of stances, um, and these all sort of. Let me find a, let me find a wall. Um, no, I guess I can't really take cover behind a wall. There's not. But anyway, like all these stances, it seems like just aesthetics, but really they're not. You take a lot of this into like uh, into like combat environments. Sorry, that was my fiance's phone. Um, but anyway, so. Um, those are the stances, and uh, shift is to walk, so we walk like this. One thing that Arma has that most other games don't is free look. And uh, the way free look works is right now I'm walking forward, right? But I can look this way while I move that way. And uh, it's very helpful when, when you're sort of sweeping environments and stuff. And I can double tap alt to just free look like this, and now I'm not holding it anymore. And then when I double tap it again, I just go right back to my position. It, so, so yeah, that's that. Um, there's also iron sights, obviously, as you can tell. And um, there's zoom in and zoom out, plus hold your breath. Now this is where a lot of like even veteran armor fans don't really understand. So like you can zoom in. And this is sort of like, I don't know, maybe your eyes focusing? I, I don't know what their their thing is about that. Anyway, and then you also hold your breath. So like, in order to take a shot in Arma effectively, if you want to have good marksmanship skills, is um, you get into a proper stance, you get into your iron sights, you zoom in, hold your breath, and then you take a shot. So I just said like five different key combinations that... Um, that you have to do in order to take a shot. And that's why this isn't a run and gun shooter. This is really just a strategic um, simulation, military simulation. Anyway, so F uh, cycles through your um, cycles through your weapons and your fire modes for your guns. Um, so as you can see, like I'm cycling through full, um, semi, and then grenade. You're probably asking yourself, well, why isn't scroll wheel like your like normal video games? Why isn't scroll wheel your your weapon select? Well, your scroll wheel is what's called your interaction menu. So if I go up to this jeep, um, when I use my scroll wheel, you'll get multiple options. Like I can enter it as front gunner, oops, gunner, ride and back, all sorts of crazy shit. Or if I go to the back of the jeep, I can open the gear of the jeep, so I can grab like some rounds and stuff. I'll get to the gear in a second. I know it's a lot to take in. Um, what else can I tell you about? That's that's about it. Oh, like N is night vision, M is map. I'll go over the map in, in a little bit as well. Um, o is watch, and then you get your compass, and uh, the number buttons control your squad mates if you have any squad mates, which we don't right now. Um, what else? Okay, so I guess that pretty much covers it. In a second, I'm gonna go over the gear, and uh, I'll, I'm gonna just put this on pause. I'll go over the gear, and then we can maybe go over the map and stuff, and I'll show you some of this cool stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, so I know I was going to show you the gear, but uh, I'm actually going to show you the map first, and I'll explain why. Or it'll sort of make sense. So the map is what you see um, before you start a mission, and obviously you can bring it up anytime during your mission. And in your map, it's not just a map. You can also check like your tasks. And you can check your notes, which give you like cool stuff about the information. You can check your units and um, and some other things depending on the mission. Um, so the reason I wanted to bring up the map and show you the map is because um, I'm about here. I, you can't see where I am because I'm on a harder difficulty. It doesn't show your location on the map. Uh, I sort of like that because like you have to do some sort of land nav in order to figure out where you are. But anyway, I'm about here, and the light weapons depot is over here. Um, so I'm gonna get to the light weapons depot so we can play around with that and uh, show you how to use gear Show you all sorts of cool stuff. So we're gonna sprint there Normally when I'm moving from like point A to point B I just use third-person mode because it looks cool <laughs> Not because 
it's easier or anything like that. But but when I'm in firing mode and I'm fighting dudes, then I'll go into uh, first person, obviously. But but anyway, okay, so um, we're just gonna duck under here. Yeah, we're going all combat to this light weapons depot. <laughs> there we go, shortcuts. All right, so here are some weapon boxes. Um, so we'll tap the gear button at the weapon boxes. And the way this works is um, we got my inventory here. I got my gun and my night vision and some stag stagnag rounds, um, 30 rounds each, some grenades. And then on this bit here, this is the list of what's in the box and what's in my inventory. So like, for example, if we look at this M16, or Mark, sorry, Mark 6, it's not an M16. Um, this Mark 16 hollow, um, I have one because there's a one on this side of the field. Um, if we look at this Mark 17 CCO, they have four on this side of the field. So like if I wanted this um, Mark 17 EGLM RCO, which is a badass fucking rifle, um, I'll just click the move button and now it's in my inventory and it automatically fills it with the proper rounds and everything and all crazy stuff like that. So this box has a lot of really awesome stuff. Um, it's got an M107, which is an anti-material sniper rifle. Oh, we should just... I'm just gonna take this so you can hear it. Because it sounds awesome. Look at how big this thing is. It's like a quarter of my fucking screen. Um, oh, and, um... You'll notice here, like, I just... This is my iron sights, and you're like, Why aren't you using a scope? Well, in, in Arma, there's uh, what's called CQB sights. It wasn't originally in Arma, actually. It became a feature of Operation Arrowhead after, like, Ace added it. Anyway, so, um... This is CQB sights. And then I think it's this button? Yeah. Um, so like this brings up, obviously, the scope that you guys are used to in your Call of Duties. Um, and then you'll notice in the top right, before it fades out, it's already faded out. In the top right, I had my zeroing. So the zeroing is how many meters you are from the target in order for the crosshair to be lined up properly. So like this is 100 meters. So like to that target, I'm probably 100 meters. Like <laughs> probably less than 100 meters actually, but I can't go any lower. But like this 107 can shoot, can zero up to 1,200 meters, which is an obscene amount of range. And look how big it is. This thing is like the size of me. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna get in a prone position here. Oh, we'll just shoot these targets. Why not, right? All right, here we go. You hear how awesome this is. Yeah, that sounds cool. I didn't even hit that. Oh, because my, <laughs> because I was zero too high. There we go. Bam! That dude just blew up. Sort of that dude. Anyway, okay. Um, so yeah. Anyway, back to this. Let's check out this box. So we got an M107, an M110, which is just a normal sniper rifle. Uh, with TWS sites, which is thermal, um, and M14, which is like old school. Anyway, so this Mark 17 is like an actually really awesome gun. Um, so we're going to arm that. Now you can see it's in my inventory. I'm holding it there. And you can see it there in, uh, in my inventory as well. So if we just take into this bunker here, I'll just get into a firing stance. And uh, that's my CQB sights again, and this is my my scope sights. And look at that crosshair. Actually, you could tell a lot by the crosshair. I won't get into it. But that's just not detail like it is in most games. You can actually read this to tell distances. Um, you line up the player height with the bottom left thing there, um, and then you get your distance, and then you can calculate bullet drop based on the vertical crosshair. Anyway, um, so this game isn't for the faint of heart. Um, it, does this have a full? Yeah, full. Yeah, so we'll just go all Rambo on this. Oh, I gotta reload. But when you're this close, CQB sights is always useful. We'll switch to, uh, switch to semi. Yeah, I bet this is really exciting for you watching me shoot targets. Um, Oh, and then we can also shoot, switch to HE. It has a grenade launcher on it. Uh, I suck with grenade launchers, so do most people. So, like, we're going to give this a shot. Oh, that's just a dynamic crosshair. But, anyway. Kablamo! Cool. Alright. So, um, what's next? 
we're gonna go to the base. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna like sort of magic of editing, and I'll see you back at the base. And we're gonna try out some vehicles. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you like the crappy Humvees and the Jeeps and stuff because you see a lot of those in game when I do my let's plays. I'm gonna show you the Tusk, and uh, that's the Tusk right there. It's an M1A2, and I'm gonna get in this driver. There's four slots. Uh, is there four slots? I think there's four slots. There's the driver, the commander, the loader, and the gunner. Right. The loader does nothing. It's just like a backseat. Um, but he does something in real life. So this is the driver slot. Um, we can start this tank up. It's got a turbine engine. That's how awesome it is. And uh, away we go. Look at this. We're just rolling. Um, so yeah, this is the driver slot. Can't really do much other than this. Um, you can switch to the gunner seat here. Notice I can't drive while I gun. Makes sense. That's what. That's why Arma is such an awesome co-op mission. Um, this tank is so much crap. It's got sabot rounds, which are great for taking out uh, other tanks and other armored vehicles. Boom! See how it sort of ricocheted there? Try to hit this. Hit this building. Didn't really do anything. <laughs> um, it's got the M240, which is just like a machine gun. I can load HE rounds, which is high explosive. It's great for taking out like infantry when they're grouped up in like squads because it's got like a high explosion radius. And of course this has zeroing as well. You can see the zeroing there. So we'll use this. Kaboom! See now that building's fucked. Okay. We're gonna blow this one up. This one's cool. Bang. Anyway. Um, and then there's the commander seat, which has the M2 machine gun. This guy, you can see it on the top there. It's that it's that thing that not the thing on the left side, but the thing on the right side because it's got a camera on it. You can rotate it around. Um, you can also you should be able to no you can't shoot smoke from the commander seat. Sometimes you can shoot smoke. Um, and then there's the loader seat, which is this dude's. But this guy's so I'm so vulnerable up here. I can just get shot if I wanted to do anything. If I, we were in combat, I'd have to like turn in, but you can't turn in as a loader. So you're just sitting out here, and you're like, hey, bros, come shoot me. So anyway, that's how vehicles work. Um, you can't really operate a tank on your, by yourself, as you can tell. You need other people to help you. That's what like AI is for, or, uh, or friends. Friends help. Um, there's also a lot of cool stuff. There's like Humvees over here, with all sorts of different things. I think that's a law. Or toe, sorry. I don't know why I said law. That's a toe. Um, some of these have AGSs. This is an AGS. Nope, that's a Mark 19. I'm really good at this. This might be an AGS. An AGS is like a grenade launcher. Nope, Mark 19. Anyway, I'm not too good at marking vehicles. Um, and yeah, so like there's trucks and stuff, so you can tow things. And while we're on the topic of vehicles, let's talk about helicopters. Helicopters are badass. Oh yeah, and there's like an A-10. I will never, you will never see me fly a plane in this game, ever. And that's the C-130, the Hercules. Um, I can't, I can't fly planes for the life of me. Things go way too fast. I can't comprehend. Oh, that's like a, that's an aerial drone. Uh, UAVs, we might be using those in some of the missions. Anyway, this is a little bird. Everybody likes the little birds, also known as the MH-6J. We'll get into the pilot. Um, so since Arma is a simulator, all the vehicles are pretty much simulated properly. All these dials work. Um, you can check your airspeed and your altitude and your uh, altimeter. All cool stuff. We're spooling up here. Gotta wait for the spool up. And then I will show you the vastness of this island. This island is... God, where am I? I don't even know what island this is. I can't remember. Takistan? Yeah, I think this is Takistan. Um, so, yeah, it's really big. <laughs> And I'm going to show you how big it actually is in the little bird. So here we go. I love flying little birds. I love flying little birds and see how low I can get to the ground, buzzing other squad mates. It's really fun. Oh, I'll probably get underneath this wire. Yeah, that's how awesome I am. I guess if I wanted to show you how big the world actually was, this is just one world. Um, yeah, if I wanted to show you how big the world was, I would have gotten a plane. 
but it's massive. It'll take us forever to, to fly around. Um, but but also, if you're new to Arma, there's there's something that you should understand. Um, there's there's a difference between missions and in islands. Right now, we're on the island of Takistan. It's not really an island, but they still call them islands. You know, it's like a there's no water. Um, missions are like script files that that you like run on islands. So like you can have a mission on Takistan. So like missions are and campaigns are like really really small because they're just basically script files. They just place like enemies in certain locations here and you use the island. Now there are some custom islands as well, not a lot. Um, Icebreaker is known for like some crazy custom islands. He does like Panthera and he's just released like Lingor, all sorts of awesome stuff. But uh, but yeah, missions are usually like less than a meg. Most of the times. If they have like maybe audio they might be big. But uh, most of the times yeah, missions are quite small, which makes Arma awesome because you can quickly download like a mission and just throw it in game and have some fun. Look at that oil. Oil field. That oil field. Anyway. Um, and there's these little cities and stuff. The environment's not really dynamic right now, but that's because we're just playing this showcase. So we'll turn around. I've never seen this thing before. What am I looking at? Anyway. It's like some interactive thing. Um, so, we'll fly back to base. We got 3,000 meters back to base, and uh, maybe I'll show you some heavy weapons? I don't know, what else is there? Let's see map. There's shooting range, supply depot, light weapons, heavy weapons. Maybe I'll show you some heavy weapons, like we can do, like, uh, like some rocket launchers. So, I'll see you in a bit. I'm just gonna probably land at the heavy weapons bit. Okay, so we're approaching the heavy weapons field here. Um, just gonna get landed. I'm on what's called auto hover right now, so the, the aircraft is very good at hovering itself. And then, uh, oh, oh, I just hit that really hard. I didn't realize the ground was coming up so quickly. Oh well, I'm still alive. That's all that matters. Um, you yeah, but yeah, we'll do this heavy weapon stuff. Have some fun. There's an artillery cannon here, which is always cool. Let's try this out. Oh my god, this is awesome. I can probably go down the, yeah, these sites. So they got these like fake tanks that are made out of wood here. Um, kaboom! Awesome. I don't even know if I hit it. Oh yeah, and you can use the artillery computer. I'm not gonna go into details about that. Anyway, here are some launcher crates so we can get some... What do we want to get? Oh, javelins. If you haven't seen a video of a javelin, or if you don't know what one is, I suggest you pause this YouTube video and go just YouTube javelin. Um, as you can tell, like I can only really carry two javelin rounds in my entire inventory because this thing is ginormous. Look how big it is. It's basically a guided anti-tank launcher. Um, so if we switch to the Javelin, it attaches the Javelin targeting computer, and this thing is, like, super giant. And yes, they're, like, this big in real life. This is not an exaggeration. Um, so, like I said, it's a guided targeting computer. And, uh, it locks on targets. You got your seek here, and you can change your... You can change to, uh, your different vision. So, white FLIR, black FLIR, um, night vision, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, so it's making a whole bunch of beeping sounds because I'm locked. And you're, you can see that I'm pointed straight up. Because what the javelin does is it shoots really high and then comes down like a dive bomber. So we're going to actually just target this other one so it's farther out. Maybe like, do I have something super far away? Nah, I guess that's going to have to do. Wait for it to uh, lock. There we go. And we'll get into third person here so you can see how this sort of works. Kaboom! Yeah, that's a javelin. Isn't that awesome? We'll reload it here. We'll get a lock on the next one. I want to get a lock on... No, I'll just go back into targeting mode. I want this one. There. Wait for the lock. 
third person. Kaboom. Yeah, can you imagine that thing hurtling at you? Oh my god, I'd shit my pants. Anyway, we're gonna put this back and we're replaced with some uh, some non-guided launchers. Oops. Come on, weapon boxes. Yeah, these are a pain in the ass sometimes. Come on, weapon boxes. What the hell? I'm just gonna drop this javelin. But yeah, you can drop things on the ground just like that. There we go, now the weapon boxes wanna work. I don't know why they didn't want to before. Um, you got your stingers, which is anti-air. You got your mods, which is an unguided um, rocket launcher. It's actually preferred. Um, the M132 is an anti-tank, but like, you can't really use it against tanks. I'm going into way too much detail for an introductory. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so I'll just show you the mods and then we'll close this up. And uh, the Maz, or maybe I'll, I'll use a help, uh, get in a plane, I'll show you how shitty I am at it. Um, so this is the Maz, it's just a simple, simple unguided rocket launcher. You got your range finder on it, so that number on the bottom tells me the range, and then the markings on the scope tell you, um, like, the, the zeroing. So, like, this is about 200, so I want to put my crosshair on 2 for 200. If I were to shoot, like, super far away, like, well, maybe not that far away, but like four, 400, I'd put my cross here on four, like that. Um, so we're going to do this, and that should be right on the money. Yep. Kaboom. Blew up that target. Um, so we're going to make a beeline for this, like, A-10, and I'll show you how much I suck at it. And then we'll close up this introduction. And then if you like me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch more Arma 2 goodness. Okay, so we've made it to the A-10. This is her in all of her glory. She's got like a lot of missiles, a lot of bombs. Um, it's got like a little cannon on the front here. Look at that. And uh, all sorts of really badass stuff. So we're gonna try to get, oh, I think I have to drop the launcher. I don't know why I can't use things with launchers in my hand. Anyway, leave it to Arma. Okay, get an A-10 as pilot. The little thingy will come out and climb up there. Ho oh, ho, look at that. That looks awesome. Anyway, um, so we're gonna start her up. And I will probably crash before I even get in the air because I'm gonna try to taxi it on the main runway. With, without actually killing myself. Oh, wrong way. I have no flight experience. Well, I have some. Like, uh, not, not in real life. Well, kind of in real life, actually. But, um, oh my god, I'm already going way too fast. You know, my nose gear is like already way up there. It's got like flaps and everything. So, like, if you're if you know what that means for landing, it decrease it increases your drag or de increases your drag. Okay, so it looks like we're taxied and uh, we're ready for takeoff. So let's full throttle this bitch. We'll just get to the end of the runway here. And uh, up we go. Pull up the gear. So we can get some more. There we go, gear's up. And uh, we're going to load. The gauze is the chain gun. See what that sounds like? Yeah, that's shooting like. I don't know what the actual thing is, but it's like 100 rounds a second. It's ridiculous. Uh, you got your Maverick, your Sidewinders, your GBU-12s, which are just normal rockets, your Hydras, your Guy, your Guys. Okay, so we're going to do a pass on this, on this, hell, uh, this airport here and start messing shit up. Here we go. Let me go to my Hydras. Oh, look at that sweep! Oh shit, that was awesome. I really almost crashed. I was like a meter off the ground. <laughs> and I wasted all my hydras. Did I even hit anything? Oh, I shot short. Look at all those craters there. All right before where I was aiming. Anyway. Um, okay, so we're going to make another pass here. With the... Uh, 
I don't know, maybe with the Gaw? Yeah, we'll try with the machine gun, see if we can mess stuff up. Zoom in here. My view distance isn't enough. There's too much shit on the screen. Yeah, fuck your tanks. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, now they're shooting at me. They are not happy. Apparently, if you get in an A10, start messing shit up, um, whoever you're shooting at gets really angry. I'm in an A-10, what do you guys think you're gonna do? Yeah, nothing. Kaboom. What? <laughs> My fiance finds this funny. Can you show them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're small arms fire, can't do shit. Look at this, this whole place is on fire. Yeah, I'm actually doing pretty well in this A-10. <laughs> Here I was telling you earlier that uh, I'm a shitty pilot, and I'm doing some pretty good passes. Of course, like, there's these aren't enemy targets. These are just friendly targets. Oh, this is a good cluster. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> and uh, that's the end of this Let's Play, so... Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do like a let's play of the of the scenarios. Right now I'm playing through PMC. I might do that. And uh, of course I'll do some let's plays with some mods when they come out. Play some games with my squad. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll see you guys next time. When uh, when I don't know what. It's crazy. And subscribe and like and send me emails and stuff if you have a request I don't know if you have a request for a mission like if you're a hardcore arma guy or if you're a developer if you want me to do a let's play I will I'll do a let's play of your map or your mod or your, your tank or your weapon or whatever I'll tell you what I think and uh, I'll showcase it to the world see ya